Uh, okay, so welcome to part five of this tutorial series. Uh, in the other tutorials, I showed you how to kind of be creative. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix up the problems that can occur if you were trying to be creative and now you want to 3D print what you made. Um, so uh, I'm just going to, you know, do a bit of doodling here because um, that's kind of often how problems cro crop up. Say I did some inflating up here because um, I wanted to bulge this out, you know, now um, my model's not flat on the back anymore, so that's going to be a problem for printing. So there's a tool in Mesh Mixer to deal with this. Um, so we go to Edits menu, and you click on Plane Cut. Um, that's going to slice the model with a plane, so you see you get a perfectly flat surface. It's just that this plane isn't the right plane. It's not oriented the right way. So it's really useful to have the view snapping on in this mode when you're doing this. So you go to the top here and you click on this little arc and that'll let you rotate the plane. If you hold down shift you can see the plane will snap to the main axes. It gets kind of slow and choppy so you gotta go slowly. Um, so now it's sort of oriented the right way, it's just not in the right spot but I can use this arrow to slide it back um, to just just the right spot. If I go too far you'll see it's not cutting enough so I want to go until the whole model is being sliced and then you just click accept and now you've got a, a nice clean flat back there uh, for printing. Okay so that's sort of all well and good so I'm just going to show you some problems that can come up with this tool. Um, so one thing that happens with this plane cutting, so here's I made something even crazier, uh, let's just inflate that out a bit, um, is that so I'm going to rotate it, snap it where I want it to be snapped, and put it in the spot I want to cut at. It all looks good, um, but you can see there's kind of glitchy stuff here. But I'm going to accept it anyway, because this is just a limitation of this tool. So now I've got that glitchy stuff, but what I can do is if I go to the volume brush, um, and I hold down shift to use my smoothing tool, that stuff will kind of melt away. Um, so if, that, if, you, if you run into that, it's really easy. You can make your brush really small, it'll still melt away. Um, so then you have a lot more control over where how it goes and you can do it from the back and just get rid of it and now I've still got my flat object. Uh, okay, so that's one way. I'm just gonna bring something else in here. Um, that's one way to make a flat surface. Uh, if I that it, that works good if you can actually do a plane cut, but if I did something like this, you see that thing is not actually uh, plane cut's not going to work here. It's not going to do what I need to do. So here, here I'll show you how to use the extrude tool to deal with this to make a kind of stand for this part. So let's go to the selection tool, and I'm going to basically select around the edge here. Um, so I'm going to have to change this object a little bit. That's just the nature of the game when you're trying to make something printable. Um, but I'm going to select it all, I'm going to run that smooth boundary tool um, and you see it's going to insert this smooth boundary loop there now and then I'm going to go and do an extrusion and run edits extrude um, and now I want to make the direction be Z so that's going to go um, back and forth and now the, the trick here is to change the end type from offset to flat um, and now you see it's extruding down a flat base. So uh, if we accept this, we've created a perfectly flat surface. And you can see it's still got my part. And I mean, you might have to go through afterwards and cut that off if you're, or if you're okay with keeping that. You know, you can go in with a smooth brush and smooth out that crease maybe if you decide you want to keep this, this bit. And so how, bi how thick this is depends on what you selected. So you could make this skinnier back here if you were going to cut it off later. Um, but that's basically an easy way to create support for simple objects like this. Uh, there's more complex ways to make support, um, but I'm not going to show you how to do that in this tutorial. So there you go. Uh, and that's the end of this segment.